Gyro claimed the fame happened to be when, if you remember, Juicy Smoulier went ahead, or Smollett, however you want to call it. Claim the fame. He got himself a lot of followers. <laughs> off it. Oh, I hope he got paid. I mean, he got paid for the uh, stage. Gyro matching up. Uh, Deckman, 31 years of age, so at this particular time, stop, especially stop, stop. in the cruiserweight no points, division, no points, I think the Why emphasis is to move him rather quickly. And bro, let me tell you something. Forget about the cruiserweight division. This guy will fight a super middleweight. This guy fights a light heavyweight. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that in August or in July when I worked the fight that he was fighting. <laughs> oh, 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 down goes Deckman! Ocean Dairo! Already Deckman on the canvas and a cut, cut underneath cut. his left eye. I, I, I think Deckman felt is, that shot too. is a little intimidated now. Yeah. Oh, now Deckman looking to crack Ocean Dairo. Which Look remember, at this. Remember the 77 inch reach. It's, it's big he, straight left. He reaches stop, you from stop, weird stop, distances, stop, stop, stop. man. And he's got a very long stop, reach. Stop. And it, it throws you off. And he can punch with that reach. But he does have the power. And he knows what he's doing. He's landing some really good shots. Good body shot there by Ocean Dairo. Deckman yeah. seems to be a bit confused as we're just under a minute to go. Yeah, Deckman has to get back to those basics, man. He can't start trying to get angry and trade these big shots with uh, Ocean Dairo. Oh, look at this. Look at Deckman come back. He cracked Ocean Dairo. Oh, really? Big right hand. Ocean Dairo now on the ropes. Look at this. Deckman better be careful because one, one more shot by Ocean Dairo can put him back on the canvas. What a way to begin the night. Social Gloves, too, here at the Bank of California Stadium. There's a weird uppercut no by Ocean Dairo. He has trouble getting fights. If somebody would, somebody would watch this guy's oh, career, oh, well, if this is, we would watch this guy's career and allow him to campaign at one weight class, I'm telling you, he'd be more dangerous. He's not a cruiserweight. I bet you he'd fight heavyweight, too. And you can tell that the reach advantage is confusing, Deck. Yeah, because he reaches you with hooks that he's not supposed to be the distance to reach you with a hook. And the, and the hook lands. But I like it. What I'm happy about when it comes to Ocean Dairo is he put that, you know, Jesse Smollett case behind him. He didn't allow it to define him. It wasn't necessarily the best look, but he got past it. Now he's performing and he's undefeated. And going, oh, 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 down goes Deckman again. Yeah. It would be a statement victory for him to come out there and finish off Deckman. Let him go, let him now go, Beckman's let him go. Down four out, points after two rounds here. He's got to get, get, get it together. There's a nice sharp right hook there by Ocean Dairo, California. And there's Deckman. He's loading up, but Ocean Dairo but seems to have his numbers. Counter. Like you're, you're, you're looking to time an awkward guy. You got to take the lead with simple fundamentals. He's trying to lead with left hooks. He's trying to counter a guy who's, stop, stop, who doesn't stop, even know himself stop, what he's going to throw next. How are you going to figure out what he's going to throw next? He's, he's, he, for me, he's got the wrong approach. He's frustrated. He's got to stick behind a jab, be first with a jab, use the feints, and then stick with ones and one twos for now. But it's not working. You know, nice the, right hand there. The, the reach advantage that Ocean Dairo has and the southpaw stance. Is what's I think really confusing Marco Deckman. He, he, he's unable to find his his distance, his rhythm, nothing like that. Yeah, and he, he's got hard. He's trying to fight back. Nice right hand there. Chase Demore. Both guys in the heavyweight division. Both guys promising early stoppages. Demore saying third round. Warren saying second round. It's going to be over. Yeah, and, and urgency not just. You know, because he's behind here, he's also 31 years old. He can't afford to take this kind of loss at his age and, and, and go backwards at this stage of his career. Nice jab now in this round by uh, Snapping on some crispy right. That was caused from that straight left from Ocean Dairo. I tell you, for guys who been boxing only three years, he's, he's got an awkward system, of course, which you expect from a guy only boxing three years, but he's calm. He's, yeah, yeah. He's, he's so relaxed. relaxed. He just is very much on his toes. He's controlling the center of the ring, and Deckman, who has triple the amount of pro fights than that of Ocean Dairo, he seems to be the one that is a bit bewildered. I mean, you know what? He's, he's kind of a natural, you know, in some ways, man. I mean, he's, you know, he's... Obviously, you're not going to be super polished in three years, but, you know, he's got good instincts. Let me tell you, nobody would know about him without no, the Jesse Smollett. No, no, no. Maybe that was a good thing. Yeah, because, you know, he's kicking fight. It put him on the map. Yeah. For better or for worse. Huh. I, don't, I don't necessarily think Beckman did anything either. You know, it was a more of a quiet round because there was no knockdowns. But both, both uh, you know, 
did quiet work in the third round. Big straight left for Oshun Dairo again, clipping the top of the head. Deckman going backwards, and I think that Deckman was hurt. If you want to call it straight, right? Well, I mean, hey, look, I'm trying to be nice here, guys. I mean, I can't always be, you know, politically you know, correct. I try to be politically correct is what I meant to say. Look at the calmness in, in Ocean Dark. <laughs> That's right. It's just so calm. So focused. Look at him. We're literally not Relax. fabricating but compliments. But he doesn't do it by the book. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just fascinated. Oh, oh, oh. big left. Deckman that. getting decked with and shots. Deckman can't afford this. Deckman has to get well, working. Now Ocean Diver should just unload, right? If he opens up, you think that he might be able to get him out of there. I think so. That was a good shot selection by Ocean with that jab to the stomach. Yeah, Mayweather stop, stop, like let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. But that's not the, the fight this guy because it's physically obviously uh, physically obviously tiring, but it's mentally tiring too because you got to constantly try to figure out what he's doing and you can't because he don't even can't. know what he's doing. It's not, it's not conventional. Not even, not even on yeah, Dodger you know. Stadium. Then yeah. throw a nice straight left hand too. Look, I'm literally with this fight gonna hit all now, now my geographical right area of Los Angeles. <laughs> now he's fighting right hand. Yeah. yeah. We'll see if he can throw a right hand from Oxnard. You're from uh, neck of the woods, Mikey. Right out here in Oxnard, eh? Yeah, right? Fuck. I mean, Beckman has to take advantage here. Now down we sell Paul again. I was going to say, well, if Ocean Dario stays right, he maybe can take advantage and, and work. But it's another round for Ocean Dario, guys. Up the and two more up rounds the remaining. I'm determined, but right now he's dealing with a moving Rubik's Cube that is Ambin Bolam Oshun Dairo. There's a big right hand by Dagman. We'll see if Dagman can pick it up. We'll see what Dagman has here. It's feisty. You know, he's not, he's not ready to give stop, up on himself. Stop. Look, you don't go ahead and train under the guidance of Brian Valoria, the Hawaiian punch himself, and, you know, go ahead and just have limited skill set. I think Deckman should be using the jab towards the chest. It's hard to land something, you know, on, on, the, on the face and then head of Oshindar. So maybe use the jab and even the right hands. Throw him uh, at the chest or maybe yeah. the chin, you know. Rain because you're not gonna land very easily up there. He's still got Swaggy P and Minicon matching up. Final moments of this fifth round between um, and decides to stay there. He needs somebody to invest in him. You know, you know, he's, right now he's got to take whatever fights he's get. He's just taking anything. I'm telling you, look at his record. He's, he's already got wins. I, I think his last fight, he's a kid with a winning record too. I almost feel like he, he travels in a band goes his record of 10 and 1, but that. His record of potentially getting double-digit wins is in peril in a significant way. Stop! Don't get away with some mistakes. Out of nowhere, land something crazy because of that. Look at that! Look at that! Threw an uppercut from like LAX. My goodness! Well, he gets away with things because of his southpaw stance, his power, and his reach. Yep. He's able. Oh! Oh! Again! He was looking for that uppercut. He was. He tried it right before that. Yep, and Deckman didn't recognize it. Hey, you okay? Deckman looks in serious trouble, guys. Like we said. Ambi Bola, Oshun Dairo looking for the finish. Can he finish off Marco Deckman? He is unloading upon Deckman. There's a big uppercut, and this one is over. Ambi Bola, Oshun Dairo. Oh, look at that. Some style. He's dancing in the ring. And he was moving and grooving. He's on the count. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated. Abimbola, Space Ocean Dairo. Abimbola, Ocean Dairo, victorious.